G'day travellers! As an adventurer at heart, I've been lucky enough to spend the last 13 months exploring diverse landscapes and cultures of Southeast Asia. However, a sudden trip back to Australia gave me the opportunity to discover the hidden treasures in my hometown of Newcastle, New South Wales. In this video, I'm taking you on a journey through a day in my city, showcasing the stunning beaches, unique wildlife, and there's a koala world-renowned vineyards from Aussie classics let's change life I've heard that to breathtaking scenery and join me for an unforgettable adventure in Newcastle New South Wales okay so we are here at two hands I'm about to get my first coffee of the day and I will say that Newcastle has one of the best coffee cultures that I have found as well even coming from Sydney take away yeah um, can I have a uh, latte um, in what size let's go large with yeah. another shot of coffee oh they come three do you want four I sure do yeah yeah uh, <laughs> they go to $6.50. So coming from Sydney and living so far away from the beach and it's so hard to access, Newcastle is amazing for beaches and I am so excited to show you some of them right now. If you have heard about beaches in Australia, you've probably heard about Bondi Beach and that's in Sydney. Yes, it's a beautiful beach, but don't sleep on Newcastle beaches. These are amazing. You have Nobby's Head, you have this one, which is Bar Beach, which is my personal favorite. And then you have Merriweather Beach and they also have Merriweather Baths. So I've noticed since moving to Newcastle, you'll get a coffee and you'll walk along the beach, go for a surf, go for a, I don't know. And that's how days are started here. There's actually something right up the top there that starts at the very top of this hill called the Anzac Bridge or the Anzac Walk Bridge, I, I believe. There is nothing, almost nothing, that beats the view from the top of that hill up there. So we are now on the way up to the Hunter Valley and there is just, it's so Australian out here. There's horses, cows, goats, big open land. And it's just so Australian. It's a hot day today. I think it's like 40 degrees or something. It's a hot one. It's an Aussie one. We are surrounded by vineyards, left, right, center. Okay, so we just got here to the Aqua Golf. So you have to shoot it out over water and I've never done this before. And I will just preface this. I'm not good at golf. Hey. Hi. Um, can I get some balls? Yeah, what? two buckets. Uh, just one. Just one? Yeah, I'm not that Nine good. Nine dollars. Right here in a club? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I go that way, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm not a golfer. I probably, I can count on one hand how many times hit, I've hit a golf club. You don't hit a golf club, oh. you hit the ball. How many times I've hit a ball, ball with a golf club? Pour all the balls into that bit. Into the top bit, yeah. Do I put it on this? Yep, make it easier for yourself. Your it's left. gonna come back and hit the it's camera. Not. Yeah, now hit it. Let, never to look at the ball. Like... No, don't bend your feet. See? You top hit it, you hit it into the ground. I hit it! <laughs> it's a little bit harder than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. I guess the aim for me is not to see how far I can hit it, but just to hit it. <laughs> so the aim is to get them in these like nets and it's over the water, right? Over the pond. But let's try and hit a few more. There you go. Oh, that was so close, that one. Really good. Hey, you whack that. I don't know where that is. So as we leave the Aqua Golf, there is a um, Hunter Valley Gardens here. And even around in the general area, there's all these cafes. But yeah, now we're gonna head and go to maybe one of the wineries around here to get one of our favorite wines. Um, like we said, they're shipped everywhere and they're some of the best wines in the world. So let's go find one of them. So this 
this is my good old friend. Oh, there's lots of spider webs in Australia. Audrey Wilkinson. Is it is it Wilkinson? So he was actually one of the first people to popularize the Hunter Valley as a place to grow and produce wine. It was kind of still stomped on, like physically, um, by the people making wine um, at the time. So he was the first to sort of bring machinery and like more modern, I mean for 1866 kind of modern, um, ways to make and produce the wine. So this guy started it all up here. All right, let's go taste the wine. G'day. How are we? Good, good. That's good. Let's have a look around. Yeah. The Ten dollar tasting time where you're booked out. Unfortunately, not. Yeah, we okay. are full for today. Yeah, We've been bloody. Yeah. It's been yeah. so yeah. hectic. That's yeah. It, yeah. Did you want it cold to drink some now outside or? Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. You can take whatever you don't finish home with yes, you. Yes, please. So cold bottle of Moscato. Yes, two glasses. Yes, yes please. please. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Thirty. Oops. What should I do? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so super nice, very sweet. I love that. The juice from these grapes were kept in contact with the skins for two hours to extract the beautiful pink hues and vibrant red berry flavors. I was just doing some reading just to refresh myself so I didn't get anything wrong. I was afraid of getting something wrong, but it is the oldest wine region in the country. It's the first wine region in Australia. In, in Australia. Wow. Yeah, the oldest. Right here in the Hunter Valley. Known for 35 minutes from Newcastle. Known for Semillon and Shiraz. Michael actually brought me out here and we did a hot air balloon ride at like the crack of dawn two years ago. So well before, a year before I started my channel. The last three Valentine's Day, that one was before you started a channel. And then the next Valentine's Day, we were swimming with elephants. Remember? Yeah, in, in, Chiang, in, in Chiang Mai, in Thailand. One of my very first videos. One of my very first videos. On this Valentine's Day, we spent it <laughs> laying on the ground with our dog. With our dog after he just had his after surgery. His surgery. Yeah, but we'd yeah. come up here for my birthday because it was the pandemic. Yeah. Yes. I wanted to go to Bali so bad. I wanted to go travel. I wanted to go to Southeast Asia and we couldn't leave Australia. So Michael found a Balinese villa here, here in, Hunter in the Hunter Valley. Valley. I know it doesn't look like Bali, but he but found it did. and the villa did. And that's where Michael uh, took me for my birthday. So, cause we have so much native um, flora and fauna, but animals especially, if you're ever driving on like a highway in Australia and you see these nets going over the top of the highway, it's actually so that like koalas mainly and other animals can get awesome. across Stuff. Possums can get across the highway safely without being run over by cars and I think that is just so cute Okay, so we have just pulled up at a place called Black Butt Reserve I'm pretty sure now Australia is really big on conservation of animals and our native flora and fauna here They have heaps of our native animals to Australia koalas kangaroos Peacocks things like that and it's it's a conservation So it's free to go and see which in Australia or at least in Sydney is not very common for things like this to be free And I think some of them are like just wandering around. I don't know. I haven't been here before, but let's go have a look at some of Australia's wild animals. Um, hello, sir. How are you going I'm up there? Sorry. <laughs> if he shows you is all it, these feathers, it means he likes you. Is he gonna? Is he gonna bite me? Oh, it's looking at me. <laughs> The purpose of this is not for tourists or for locals, it's for the conservation of the animals and then you can come if you want to come. So it's not set up like a zoo. The animals that live in this bush, the animals can just leave whenever they want basically. I want you to let me know in the comments what this animal is. Let me know in the comments, ready? Hey buddy. Oh. You, did you guess? Do you know what it is? Do you think it was a kangaroo? Right? Wrong. It's a wallaby. It's a wallaby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Are you under there in front of us? <gasps> wow. Oh, oh. So I think, oh, super zoomed in. So I think this is the bird aviary. There's a koala. Go, go, go. Go, go. Koalas are not a bird, but they are so cute and they all have chlamydia, basically. So, oh my gosh. That's like a bird. Okay. 
but he's like right in front of us and he's asleep. I'm pretty sure koalas are nocturnal. So they sleep during the day, they're awake during the night. They eat these eucalyptus leaves. They're pretty, like they're pretty strong. You don't often are allowed to grab them or touch them or anything. This is actually something that I should talk about because while we were traveling Southeast Asia, I wasn't really worried about spiders, snakes, any of that. Then you come to Australia and everything's trying to kill you. Yeah. Like there's snakes everywhere. There's deadly like spiders. You have to literally watch out because everything's deadly. <laughs> you've been watching from my Southeast Asia videos, this might look familiar to you. Yeah, there must be different. It's a, it's a different type. It's a different type, isn't it? Mostly only found on the east coast of Australia. They're called a lace loader. There are some frogs. But that's the wombat in his little... Oh, you can't really see. Oh, you're so cute. They're super dangerous. Why? They're really aggressive animals. So up here, we should have our emus and our kangaroos, which are like, and koalas are kind of a national animal, but emus and, and kangaroos definitely are. They're on our passport, they're on our money, they're on our coat of arms. Coat of arms. Emu and a kangaroo on the coat of arms because both animals can't go backwards, they can only go forwards. Kangaroos are a little bit too far away. They're sort of all the way over there, so I can't really exactly see them. So kangaroos are actually pretty like, feisty and dangerous but the red kangaroo ones are massive and like they will punch you so there's a place near our plate our house um near a lake and it's absolutely beautiful there we normally walk happy there or walk there on our own and there's a uh, i want to say australian but it's more of a newcastle iconic classic thing to eat but it's about to close and yeah we need to get there as soon as possible and we're going to show you what it's like apparently it's like big here it's a big deal. Everyone in Newcastle will have eaten at somewhere along this family tree of schnitzels. Oh, I'll get it. Okay. All right, we're here at the famous place in Newcastle. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. Is there a, a wrap with egg and bacon, or is that the? I'm getting that confused. This works. So it's got all the salad with bacon and eggs, lettuce, tomato, beetroot, cucumber, carrot, cheese, and onion. Let's do that one. Bacon and eggs. That one, I like that one. Oh, is it tomato? Oh, I've never done this friend. before, I'm from Sydney, sorry. Okay. So, thank you. That's changed your life. No, I've heard that. <laughs> All right, I'll do, I think he would like tomato. Tomato sauce? Yes, please. I might do the Aussie for myself, Aussie? yes, please. And what sauce would you like on yours? I would like on mine, barbecue. I was gonna say ranch, but I'll go with barbecue. 34. Thank you. Oh, that one to get a bang on the door. Thank you. you Have a good day. Thank you. So we just got to the lake here. This is a great place for people to come and kayak. I saw some, there's boats out there, jet skis people walking around they're like sailboats over that way it's an awesome place to come and sit at the end of the day sometimes with something to eat this is massive yeah that'd be cool i want to go out on a boat do you have a boat yeah do you want to go fishing i don't know if i like fishing but <laughs> apparently this is very popular the in... original and the best how, how do i even open it looks good i don't know if you can see it's got like schnitzel you've got cheese you've got bacon you've got tomato got a big wrap around it. There's no street food really here in Australia. It's just restaurant and takeaway kind of food normally. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Wow. It's so good. The schnitzel is cr cr like crispy. The cheese is good. Next time I'll try the one with the pineapple. I love pineapple. Mm. Oh my God. When you get into it, right? So while we are super, super lucky to be able to call this home, let me know what you think about Australia in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one. Make sure you leave anything or any questions in the comment section down below. And if you haven't, or if you don't know why we're here in Australia, watch this one on the screen. It's gonna tell you and catch you right up to date as to why we are back here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.